right, guys. Welcome back to the ALGS channel. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. Lots to dive into and discuss in today's videos. We're talking about not only more roster updates, roster news, roster drama, but also what's going on in the preseason qualifiers right now as the number one team coming out of the European scene, sadly, was banned and now will more than likely miss Pro League over something so avoidable and so stupid and so fixable, I have to argue, as well. Like I said, a lot of drama, a lot of roster news as well. So like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to set the date with what's going on in the Apex Esports scene. Without further ado, let's dive into what's happening in this one. First thing I wanted to make mention of, coming from the EMEA, EMEA scene. Once again, the PSQs are going down right now. Matter of fact, I think they just finished. And if you're wondering, Shiv and Mandy and all those guys did make it. They did qualify and going into the next round, I think G-Dolphin is already out as well unfortunately but the number one team red dragon currently sitting in first place right now in the psq points sadly posted that they were basically banned from in game like they hopped on apex itself and noticed that they were banned and so their player comes out and says that him and plushka had their accounts disabled by mistake we think it's because they moved to an internet cafe and we're not playing in the physical location that they're normally playing on so they got ip banned also, we are in tech support, email and everything, but they're not getting any help. We need to solve it quickly because obviously PSQs are coming up. This was a couple of days ago. Sadly, they got no fix and then they decided to do a little bit of an update. Here comes another tweet tagging some, you know, Apex developers here, trying to get more people involved. Got many pro player vouchers as well. Like I think Nasky was in here. I think a couple other pros like Case Winnie, I think I saw in the comments, a couple others as well. And many people are just saying, look, you know, we vouch for these guys. Obviously, we know that this is a false IP ban. If it's just that simple, can you fix it real quick? These guys are destined for Pro League. They're number one in points. All they got to do is do decent in today's games and they make it. Sadly, 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 no update came about. And these guys were not only banned in game, but also got banned on the ALGS website as well. And I think G Dolphin had also said this is not the first time that a team has been stripped away of their Pro League presence of something like this crazy so he says secondly we got banned on battlefy as well so we can no longer play psq4 today and of course it's too late to play anyways it's already over so even if they you know were they would have been knocked out because of you know being afk or being you know not here six hours ago we received an email answer from algs it basically just doubled down to say that they were cheaters and so basically they got called out by ea saying that they reviewed their account apparently and determined that they were apparently cheaters i guess i don't know that's crazy stuff nonetheless and I think a lot of people are, are pretty shocked to see this. Nonetheless, uh, you know, you know, who knows what's going to happen? I really don't know that they're ever going to do anything. It doesn't seem like Apex to really go about or change anything. Or maybe they make a special invite. I don't know. It just doesn't seem very likely, in my opinion. But thought I'd make mention of it for sure. Also wanted to make mention the change of plans. Coming from Sweet Dreams and his roster, of course. This one baffles me and it really confuses me as well because yesterday we had actually seen, matter of fact, I can get it pulled up here. Tom had actually posted from esports.gg that they had actually seen in Sweet's chat this picture that Sweet has made the decision to keep his options open for ALGS. He was approached with two opportunities that he wants to pursue. And this is when we also have the exact same article giving the same information as well of course this one was made by me but it also goes in the video clip that sweet explains what's going on so in this clip i will play it for you so you can hear what happens i want you to notice though a few keywords that he drops whenever he's talking here and that is we received an opportunity or we will be doing this or we are pursuing this i don't know if that means him and nathan or if keeping my options open means i might leave nathan i don't really know exactly what's going on but it doesn't seem like they are going with the Lou route anymore. Fans found out, obviously, they were trialing Lou. They didn't like that decision at all. Seems like Sweet basically heard that, and he says, I think you guys will like what we're doing now. So here's the clip. Roll it of what Sweet Dreams had to say and their new opportunities. It's Stormpoint right today, right? The poppy thick as fuck, no cap. Boy, has... Oh, oh, Chad, all I'm saying is some things have changed recently. But guys, the plot is almost too thick at this point. I'll give you guys a little a little juice since you're early here, but oh my god. Regarding our situation as well. A team announcement coming maybe as early as today. Nothing org related, but a little update about our team. Um, um pretty much long story short, I got a couple opportunities. Um, um I'm keeping my options completely open for ALGS. I'll phrase it like that. 
Okay. So yeah, keep an option open for Ale Just. A couple things popped up opportunity wise, and we're gonna pursue. Yeah, chat. So uh, I guess simply put, without leaking too much, and yeah, uh, a couple opportunities arose. We're keeping options open for ALGS. We still have a wonderful org behind us and they're fully committed and I'm choosing my words carefully here. I'm really excited, but yeah. Uh, I know some people weren't a big fan of us trialing Lou, um, but hopefully you guys maybe are more in line with what I'm cooking up. Uh, I'm cooking something new. I'm, 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 in, I'm in a new kitchen. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to announce that as early as tomorrow. Yeah, I feel bad. As I feel bad. The speculation, but uh Yeah. Foggers. So obviously people were a little confused because they're like, you know, what exactly does this mean that we are going to pursue this opportunity? But you're keeping your options open, right? If you're keeping your options completely open, to me that sounds like maybe Nathan is not being considered, but if we are going to pursue it, is that is he referring to his fan base? Is he referring to him and Nathan? I don't really know, but he says he's not even in the same kitchen anymore, so it seems like it's going to be a complete different route. But they also said they have an org backing them still that's fully committed. Who knows? What in the world is going on? All I know that it's getting really, really long, and at this point, we've been following this story for quite some time. Fans are really waiting for an answer, and he said it could come as early as today so obviously stay tuned a lot of people also wanted to say that maybe panders was on uh, the market therefore he might might have wanted to switch it up and go with panders or something but also we've heard according to michael on twitter that panders and zara are going to be playing with snipe down on a tournament this tuesday and speaking of snipe down this is when more drama decided to unfold last night as phony former face player now playing with league of legends under that title with zainu and frexis posted on twitter Seems to be a little bit of beef going on, I guess, with the former FaZe roster saying, I could not care less about Snipe Down. He was my former teammate whom I very much respected, but it was that same teammate who decided to speak publicly and tarnish my name, causing a wave of hate for zero reason. I'm exhausted from seeing it, so please leave me alone. Of course, I was like, you know, what the heck is going on? I thought at the end of the day, even though there might be some beef, I thought at the end of the day, all the pros were kind of cool with each other. But it seems like a former phase roster might not be too in line with one another. But according to this guy, Michael, maybe, maybe, maybe Zara and Panders will be playing with Snipe Down. Of course, Phony, we know his team already with Zainu, and I'm still surprised that they have not been picked up by an organization. I still have not heard an update about an organization for this squad. And it seems like that could be because of the whole Sweet Dreams or other rosters out there that are still like, you know, I think a lot of organizations right now are waiting on XYZ. They're waiting to see what this guy does and that guy does before they make their final move. And so that's why you're seeing a lot of last minute, you know, late decisions go on as well. Also, we have the drama coming from I Madness. Of course, we are expecting him to go to the Fury roster after the Battlefy official Pro League team leaked it as well and basically said that they are the four former already their roster is now the fury roster so they pretty much confirmed it we still don't know i guess for sure certain that his watson is coming back but that's what seems to be happening is if you guys have watched the last couple of videos and seen the articles as well but madness of course gets really frustrated recently with all the people talking about the whole vaxlon situation and putting words into his mouth madness says anyone speaking on my behalf about me and my decision need to shut the freak up with that being said you will know everything from what happened and why it happened in a few days so not only in a few days will we get this roster announcement according to madness and of course we assume this is furia and the reason by the way someone asked why are you guys taking so long we all know it's furia apparently it's just an nda that they have to abide by so that is what's going on but of course he says whenever we get this announcement not only will we know that they're going to furia but we will also know what happened behind closed doors lastly just as we wrap the video up want to give you guys a little you know golden nugget i guess a little crazy fact did you guys know that there are only two teams in apex land history that have actually won the imperial how team and the zero team so zero basically played with under a couple other you know teams so, you know it wasn't always dark zero but it was always you know zero himself that was there zero and sharky zero and jid burton zero and whoever it was always zero's team and imperial house team with tsm and those are the only guys that have ever won apex land i thought that was really interesting today because I, I couldn't believe it when i saw it. i had to research it and found out they were right so interested to see what you guys have to say about all the topics down in the comment section below if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends esports related of course make sure to subscribe to this channel you can also check out apexglobalseries.com which is my personal website where i keep you all up to date with what's going on and keep you up to speed and until the next time we will see you all 
Later, Gators. Oh, by the way, I'm playing in PSQ today. I'll be live here in a couple hours if you guys want to watch me. I might get pummeled. I might get destroyed. But at least we're going to give it our all. Later. Later.